Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends 60th anniversary X-Men Blob Deluxe figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? The fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many may be out fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs don't know about. This is gonna be a quickie. Let's bust this bad boy open and see what's what. All right, here we go. Frederick J. Dukes, AKA The Blob, who first appeared in X-Men number three in January of 1964. Long time overdue for a redo for this figure. This is our second Blob in the life of the Marvel Legends line. The first one was a builder figure from the early days of when Hasbro took over from Toy Biz. That figure is now very expensive on the secondary market. Here's your opportunity to own Blob without having to collect like eight or nine figures. He can already assembled in one deluxe box set. Plenty of reviews out there. I just wanted to take a quick look at him based on how pleased I was with the figure overall getting him out of the package and I just wanted to chronicle it and get it up on my channel. He came with two hands that are open out of the package. His right hand, the fingers are slightly spread in his cup. You could obviously use this to hold some items. His left hand, the fingers are spread a bit more. You could obviously utilize this one to hold some items as well. But one thing that I noticed straight out of the package was the texture on his costume. It's just blue and yellow basically but the band here around his belly is textured it's raised as are the bands here on his arm these two yellow portions almost feel like I don't even know they're very it's very coarse it's a it's a nice material though even the portions up here on his left and right shoulder those yellow portions on the upper parts of his uh, onesie are raised as well if you look close you could see some real subtle blotching on his skin on his arms and on his legs again with the texture down here at the upper portion of the boots great neutral head sculpt they did a really good job here it's got a pretty good haircut for such a big dude huh we'll taper in the back <laughs> But that's one of two head sculpts and two of four hands. You can see there's a double ball peg barbell joint buried into the upper torso. And then the head just pops on that barbell joint. Pegs for the hands look like that. And there's a look at the peg holes where the hands plug in. Then he also has an additional dynamic head sculpt where his mouth is open. He's screaming. Teeth look great. These must be veneers. And two fists. Now, as a single carded deluxe box figure, you know I always want more. But if he was a builder figure, this is probably all you would get anyway. It would have been nice for an additional set of hands maybe one more head sculpt the articulation here is probably better than the older version i'll get a quick comparison between the two but yo i like this figure a lot and in terms of hasbro introducing new sculpts and then charging a bit more for that i'm down in that regard but this is one i definitely wouldn't snooze on he's nice so this is hasbro versus hasbro in the past oftentimes it's been hasbro trying to top toy biz in terms of a lot of these old builder figures but they absolutely top themselves here i know a lot of people like the rolls and the kind a gross nasty <laughs> looking skin on the old builder figure version and it would have been nice if this newer version was just a little larger a little more rotund i suppose but i prefer the look of this new one i, I think they did a really good job you're not going to be able to swap any parts between the two but i think it's safe to say you can retire the old builder figure save yourself half the cost it would take to get the older builder figure on a secondary and just go ahead and shoot for the new version all right thanks for hanging out as always rate comment and subscribe hit that bell down there and until next time Peace. Hey, I'm in the game, I'm grinding. I got to play 24 hours in a day, seven days out the week. I never sleep. I'm on my grizzly bear, 52 weeks out the year. Yeah. Nothing hurts the blob. I'm gonna flatten these X clowns by sitting on them.